We, we cannot let this continue. Yeah, that's good. That's that's a real good point to make. This is yes. I'm sorry. Off the record. Okay. Well, the officer is asking uh, to talk to me off the record. So if you guys will just uh, give me a moment here. Okay, so I guess we'll uh, we'll take you off of the air right now. You know, we were talking about how Planned Parenthood will come to the uh, to the pregnant ladies and try to tell them how unaffordable it's going to be for them to have children. But understand that when it comes to dollars and cents, the abortion industry has probably has made about twenty seven trillion dollars off of this since Roe v. Wade. Look at the fifty four million children that have been killed with abortion. Multiply that out by the average cost of five hundred. That's what I get is twenty seven trillion dollars. It's big business. It's about money for them. But they also have a eugenics agenda that they think sets them apart from the rest. They won't talk about that. They will only hold up black signs in front of other people's signs that are explaining what's really going on here. Stay with us. We're going to be right back. You won't want to miss Alex Jones showing up to confront these censors at the anti-abortion rally. We'll be right back. Just had Alex Jones go to the Black Lives Matter protest that is taking place in Austin. Uh, he's going to be there live. You aren't going to want to miss this because Alex is upset, as he should be. Black Lives Matter, that's the hashtag that's been put out there in terms of trying to get people to stop police brutality. Of course, police brutality is not directed only at black lives, it's directed at everyone. But as Alex has pointed out, they're the beta test. They're bearing the brunt of this in disproportionate numbers. But if black lives matter in police brutality, don't black lives matter in terms of abortion? That's the whole point of this. Abortion has been disproportionately targeted towards the black community. The founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger, made it very clear that's why she was creating this, to get rid of undesirable ethnic groups, and she put black people in that category. She famously said, they have a choice, these people. They can, we can either have segregation or we can have sterilization. That's what this is about. So we showed up to, uh, to protest the Planned Parenthood site and to use this Black Lives Matter to get people to think more broadly about this. And we had counter demonstrators, and I use that term loosely because they showed up dressed in black, carrying black signs, and trying to hold them in front of the banners of the people who had shown up to protest. They didn't have any speech that they wanted to counter. They didn't have anything they wanted to say. They just want to shut down your free speech. A wonderful visual, a wonderful metaphor for the way the authoritarians work. Typically the left. Understand, too. That most of these people who have been proclaiming themselves as pro-life for the last 40 years are also the ones pro-choice, I'm sorry, not pro-life, the ones who've been calling themselves pro-choice are the ones who are working the hardest to take away your informed consent, trying to force vaccines on you, on your family, on your children. They don't want freedom of choice. They don't want freedom of speech. You can see that in this demonstration where they show up and just try to cover up other people's signs. And the only person who wrote anything on a sign, it was to say that uh, that Infowars is anti-women. And she had nothing to say except you're sexist and you're racist. That's what we see. If they ever say anything, they just rehash those same old tired cliches. And they have become cliches. And it's a shame because there really is racism out there. And when they use it like that, when they cry wolf, that is what is really concerning. Uh, Jakari, are you there? Yes, yes, I am, Jay. All right, tell us what you see right now at the uh, site. And uh, Jakari is on site there at the demonstration in front of Planned Parenthood. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, we're still out here in front of the Planned Parenthood. We have several people out here now, at least, you know, 50, 60 or so. We're staying over here because there's been a lot of uh, profanity used over there uh, amongst some of the others. So we're trying to stay and have a, a clean feed. But, you know, it's a pretty peaceful scene. We had a chance to talk to one of the officers, and I do have a correction for all the people who heard uh, what Alex said earlier. He gave the incorrect address. This is 201. The 501 address was actually the strip club down the street. Don't go to the strip <laughs> okay. club. Come up to the Planned Parenthood at 201 East Ben White. You'll, well, you can't miss us. You know, you got, you know, 
uh, 50, 60, 100 people out here. Yeah, so it's going to be real hard to miss us. If you're on Ben White, you're going to see that because it's a large crowd of people, even if you don't uh, see the, the Planned Parenthood sign. Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, come on out. Be peaceful. The officers are requesting that we stand between the sidewalks and the telephone poles. That's not infringe on anybody's property, not just the Planned Parenthood, but that's also a bank and a Wendy's. So uh, be respectful to them. Be respectful to their employees, most definitely. If they ask you to please step back, just go ahead and do that. Because our fight isn't with the bank. It's uh, We're fighting against the, uh, the killing of our children. It's not just black children. And people say, why Black Lives Matter? You know, why do you want to take uh, attention away from the police? It's, it doesn't stop with the police. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is an issue, but we also understand that this is one of the biggest killers of black in our blacks in our country, and it's the Planned Parenthood. And That's it's right. not just the blacks, it's the white children and the brown children and all the children, David. That's right. Just like police brutality, it affects all races, all, uh, uh, all groups. But it's important that people understand that this abortion industry was created specifically to target blacks with eugenics, with genocide. That's what they need to understand. That's the point that we're trying to make. And clearly, you should understand if, if you understand that blacks are being singled out. And we saw that, uh, that clip that, was, that, that surfaced this weekend of an uh, open carry uh, test. They had a white guy with a rifle shouldered over uh, on his shoulder. And they had a black guy. And they showed very graphically how the police reacted totally differently to the two individuals. So we understand that there's an issue. With the police, we understand that uh, black people are being targeted with that, but we also need to understand that they are hey, being David. targeted with Planned Parenthood. Go ahead, Jakari. Hey, David, uh, we have a we have a gentleman here. He has something he'd like to share with us. What's your yes. name, sir? My name is Father Christopher Terry. I'm uh, a religious uh, Dominican priest, uh, and uh, I normally go to the Planned Parenthood down. Uh, in Houston on the I-45. Hang on, we got to go to a break. We're going to be right back. Tell them to stay right there. We're on time here, and Alex isn't, is because he is on his way to a Black Lives Matter protest. Alex was absolutely infuriated. He grabbed his bullhorn, and he's on his way down there because we were holding a demonstration to try to get people to understand that Black Lives Matter no matter how old the people are. It isn't just the police brutality, but it's also the direct eugenics agenda of Planned Parenthood's founder, Margaret Sanger, specifically targeting the black community. We're trying to wake people up to that. Just before we went to the break, uh, Jarkari, do you still have uh, uh, the uh, priest who was there that you were talking to? Yes, I do, David. Yeah, let's go back so to we that. Have the uh, gentleman here. Please. Yes, go ahead. Now, sir, uh, we have to keep moving around, but just take us a couple minutes and just tell us uh, who you are and what you were telling me during the break. Okay. Um, yes, uh, my name is Father Christopher Terry. I'm a religious priest, the uh, Order of Preachers, uh, Dominican, famous for the Spanish Inquisition. But I came up here in solidarity uh, with, uh, well, trying to network with InfoWars, but also uh, with the other pro-lifers here. And, and you were telling me some things about the Catholic Church during the break? Yes, I usually go to the uh, I-45 Planned Parenthood Clinic in Houston. There's only a few of us, you know, two or three. And it is the largest late-term abortion clinic in the uh, Western world, not just the Western Hemisphere, but in the Western world. Its sister clinic is in China, South China, and they're both run by the same organization, Planned Parenthood, Planned Parenthood International. So um, the establishment of this clinic uh, in Houston was actually um, um, done uh, by a Catholic bishop who is now a cardinal, Cardinal DiNardo. And no one's more responsible for winning the one vote from Bart Stupak that passed Obamacare than Cardinal DiNardo and uh, Bishop Worrell, or Cardinal World in Washington, D.C. Now the, those with the National Conference of Catholic Bishops working for so-called immigration uh, reform, i.e. amnesty. Cardinal DiNardo and uh, uh, Cardinal Worrell have received uh, almost 
35 million dollars of taxpayers money in order to facilitate through the Catholic Church um, Catholic charities and also uh, alright sir well thank you we gotta keep moving I appreciate you alright well look who just joined us here Alex is there Live at the Again, demonstration. I want to salute everyone that came out here today. The Satanic Temple! That's exactly what it is, and we're exposing it. Bullet. Just like we were fighting the abortion at the Capitol, they had women standing around chanting, Hail Satan! It's a sacrament to kill their babies. Women that have been tricked and had abortions, God forgives them, and we're, none of us are here to judge. I have been involved in abortions when I was younger, and I wish I never would have done it. What matters is your heart. And all those that love this system, they love death. And that's why the, uh, the, the disciples of this always are the same. And they have the same dead look in their eyes. And they wear the same black robes as high priest Satanists. Because they are out here promoting this and they can't stand it. And now because of their totalitarian evil, everyone is seeing them here trying to shut down free speech. Imagine and thank God every day that we didn't crawl out from under rocks like the lowest forms of anti-human trash that dare to call themselves liberal when they are the literal scum of the planet. Is this the best the devil can offer? Is these weaklings? Is this the God of this world that everyone wants the serve to fall out to when the servants are worse than Gollum? I'm telling you right now, their whole system is destined from the foundations of this earth to fall. And we stand with the innocent. 
innocence. We stand with the truth. We stand against the new world order. And their 1984 system will fall. Liberty and the awakening and the pro-human movement and the pro-life movement is rising. Yeah.